Another aspect of Descript is alphabet reduction. Now, the Descript alphabet on the website is, has been designed for the English language. There are people, including myself, already adapting this to other languages, so sometimes the alphabet has to be increased or decreased, uh, and sometimes accents and symbols have to be added. Accents and symbols are easy because I reserve ticks and dots for this, and uh, adding letters uh, is covered in another another tutorial. This tutorial shows how to reduce into the alphabet. It's very simple actually. Basically you choose uh, what shapes you want. So for example if we want to reduce it to four letters um, this could be used for, useful for DNA or any kind of quad representation system you're going to need. Um, we could do it very simply just by reducing it to these for example. So if we had a combination of A, B, A, C, D that would be A, B, A, C, D. As you can see, now we can draw that small, A, B, A, C, D. As you can see, A, B, A, C, D. Very simple, very simple. And you draw long chains like this. Then you could also, so if we went A, B, A, C, C, D, C, B, 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 A, C. We could then also draw off of this. By go, then you would rotate it. Say you wanted to rotate it 90 degrees and have the chain run this way. Well, then you would just have to rotate everything. So that would be, if we then want to draw, draw A, 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 B, A, C, D, we would go A, B, A, C, D. And as you can see, you can chain these. We've reduced it to four letters, so it's actually very, very basic in this form. But the nice thing about Descript is you start at 26. So if you need a dozen, if you need 10, whatever you need, you can, you can get it out of Descript. Just reduce the alphabet to what you need. The reason you want to reduce the alphabet is what you'll do is you'll eliminate all the other characters, and that will open up a whole lot more windows for how you draw this or how it can be chained together. The less letters in the alphabet, the more room for creativity there really is.